Hello good YouTube people, it's Captain Lope with you. Uh, kind of got a little collection of some miscellaneous dumpster hauls that I did lately that I haven't filmed yet. Dumpster diving has been pretty spectacular. This morning wasn't looking real good when I went out. It was uh, almost almost worthless until I came to my last stop and when I got to my last stop I I really scored on the crackers. A lot of crackers, honey graham crackers, vegetable crackers, original entertainer crackers, rich and crisp crackers, and uh, fortunately I've got some soup to go with it. Got some clam chowder, got some chicken and dumplings, and those are actually just a small representation of what I got. I got about a dozen cans of chicken and dumplings last week, and I think about eight cans of clam chowder. And I even got the bowls to go with them. And those bowls have little chips in them, but I'm not too bothered by that. Made a quick stop the other day and picked up a case of Shasta Cola. The kid's already been into that. Some Christmas erasers. Some evaporated milk and some string beans. Some turbo dust, which I thought was illegal in this state. Anyhow, uh, ice cream cones. Got some ice cream cones. That box is pretty, pretty smashed though, so I'm thinking I'm not going to find much good in there. I got this big old electric blanket, and when I took it out of the bag that it was in and looked at the uh, return slip on it, it said that it was two of them, and it was a demo item. But it's not actually two of them, it's one big blanket and it has dual controls on it. And now now I get this after that miserable winter that we just survived through. But uh, I checked it out. Both sides work. The little green thing that you see up there with the controls, that is a wireless speaker. And uh, you hook that up to your Bluetooth device, or, or actually you don't hook it up to your Bluetooth device. Your Bluetooth device plays right through it. My son can play music off his phone on it. And it sounds surprisingly good and pretty loud for the size that it is. It's rechargeable. It did come with a recharging cord that was with it. There were no instructions with it, but that's okay. The little light that you see guys set up there. That actually was a makeup mirror, a lighted makeup mirror light. But the mirror was broke, so that wasn't with it. This morning I got a Luke Bryan CD, and I'm pretty sure he's a country music guy, and I, I love a lot of music and a lot of diverse music, but modern country I just cannot do. Oh, a few days ago, by a neighbor's dumpster, they had some stuff sitting out, so I stopped and checked, and there was a little drooly mouth puppy and a cute little bunny sitting in the stuff, so... I had to snag those out. This clock that you see came from the sweet spot and it has no pendulum but uh, it does keep time really well. So I've got a pendulumless clock and I'm really not sure where I'm going to put it because I've been getting quite a few clocks lately and yeah, I just don't know. I, I've got a couple ideas I might put it but I'm starting to get a lot of clocks in the house. Daylight savings time is becoming quite a chore for us. Got some instant lunch. Woohoo! You get what you pay for on there, huh? Got some Tropical Grove, some guava drink, athlete's foot spray. Oh, and here's a neat little thing it is a moose paper towel holder. And. It's kind of funny, I just uh, subscribed to Moose Scrapper last night, or maybe it was the day before, but I subscribed to Moose Scrapper, and now I've got a scrapped moose. And uh, one of the antlers was broken on that. My wife super glued it back together, and if you don't look real close, you can't even tell. It's kind of a creepy looking moose, really. And speaking of moo, I've got some true moo again, and I actually have some vanilla flavor and some regular 2% milk flavor in there. 
and along with the milk of course cookies always with the cookies got a, uh, a bathroom floor mat rug here and the backing is kind of coming off of that a little bit so it's not perfect but I know a guy that I work with that I give stuff to he was he was looking for one of those so I'll probably take it up to him and he can either use it or not or try to fix the backing back to it whatever and then another thing I got this came from what used to be uh, I used to kind of figure it as my sweet spot it's a store that deals in a lot of home decoration type products and it's a nice little mosaic and when I found this it was raining and that's actually paper the sort of off-white color stuff that you see on that is actually paper and it was kinda of like messing up a little bit as I was handling with it but then I was able to squish it back into place and you can see the mirror in the middle it does have some pretty good cracks on it and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it I'm, I'm not gonna throw it away but I don't know what I'm gonna do about the cracks in the mirror if I'm gonna cover it with something else or come up with uh, I don't know something to cover the cracks I was kind of thinking, you know, cover the cracks with something red, you know, like the red dirt that you see in Arizona or something like that. But I don't know what, though. I need to talk to Frugal Nista. She could probably come up with an idea for that. She's pretty creative in that way. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. I always got to forget something. Uh, these curtains up here, they're two insula curtains, and... Uh, they were both open out of the package. You can see they're they're pretty long, and the price tag on those was listed at thirty nine dollars each, thirty nine ninety nine. So it's actually uh, really eighty dollars worth of curtains there. And anyhow, that's pretty much what Captain Lope has been up to lately. You know, if you've been following my other videos, you see that I've snagged a lot of used clothing and most of it in pretty decent shape too. I spent yesterday doing laundry. I think I washed five or six loads of uh, loads of that clothes and cleaned it up and so we went through there and I know some people were gonna give some to and some of it we're gonna put in a sale, some of it we're gonna turn into rags but uh, we'll, we'll make use of all of it. Um, we know some people that could use some of the clothes so anyhow It'll all be going to some sort of a use. Alright, good YouTube people. Thanks for watching. It's Captain Lope. And remember, as always, Carpe Garbage.